Hello everyone. This is Dr. P. Srilatha, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. In this session, I am going to discuss about mode and median of the normal distribution. So now we will discuss about mode of the normal distribution. By the definition of normal distribution, n of mu comma sigma square that is equal to p of x equal to p of x1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to x2 that is nothing but f of x equal to we have a formula that is based on normal distribution so that is 1 by sigma root 2 pi e power minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma whole square so this is our f of x okay so now we need to find f dash of x so because what is the definition of mode mode is the value of x per which f of x is maximum so what is the definition of mode actual definition of mode mode is the value of x for which f of x is maximum so that's why here we need to find f dash of x and f double dash of x okay so here we know that so here we know that f of x equal to 1 by sigma root 2 pi e power minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma whole square and f dash of x equal to so that will be so f of x so f of x is this one and f dash of x equal to 1 by sigma root 2 pi e power minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma whole square so and e power x differentiation is e power x and uh, the inner differentiation is 1 by 2 into so x minus mu by sigma whole square and uh, the inner inner part of the differentiation is 2 into x minus mu by sigma into so this one is 1 by sigma okay so that is 1 by sigma so th this is our uh, f dash of x but we know that so this is nothing but so this is nothing but we know that that is f dash of x okay sorry f of x so this is nothing but f of x okay so f dash of x equal to so here we have minus so minus f of x into so 2 to get cancelled and x minus mu by sigma and here we have 1 by sigma so that will be x minus mu by sigma whole square so f dash of therefore f dash of x equal to minus f of x into x minus mu by sigma square so therefore f dash of x equal to so here that will be 0 when x equal to mu if i substitute in place of x if i substitute mu that will be mu minus mu that will be 0 so 0 by anything is 0 so that's well and 0 into anything is 0 so that's why this total term is 0. So when if you substitute x equal to mu, then f dash of x will be 0. So therefore, f dash of x equal to 0 when x equal to mu. Now, so f double dash of x. So now we need to find f double dash of x. So here we have uh, f, f, f dash of x equal to minus f of x into f dash of x equal to minus f of x into here we have x minus mu by sigma whole square and f double dash of x so here we are doing again differentiation so let us consider this is u and this is v so if i take minus as common then this will be u dash v so u dash v minus sorry so u into v no so u dash v so this is u dash v plus u v dash u v dash so v dash means that is 1 by sigma square so this is u v dash okay so if you simplify this one we will get the double dash of x equal to so minus of uh, uh, this one right so minus of f dash of x into x minus mu by sigma whole square uh, plus f of x into 1 by sigma square okay so this is uh, nothing but f double dash of x will be less than 0 if i substitute uh, uh, x equal to mu okay so if i if i substitute x equal to mu then f dash f double dash of x is uh, less than 0 so therefore f of x is maximum when x equal to mu so therefore f of x is maximum when x equal to mu so therefore this is nothing but mode so mode equal to mu mod equal to mu because f dash of x equal to 0 when x equal to mu and f double dash of x is less than 0 when x equal to mu so that's why therefore mod equal to mu so therefore the mode of the normal distribution is mu mode of the normal distribution is 
म्यू सो नेक्स्ट सो नेक्स्ट डेरिवेशन इज मीडियन ऑफ द नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बाय द डेफिनेशन ऑफ नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो वी हैव ए फॉर्मूला दैट इज n इनटू म्यू कॉमा सिग्मा स्क्वायर दैट इज इक्वल टू p ऑफ x1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to x2 so that is equal to 1 by sigma root 2 pi e power minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma whole square so that is nothing but here this is nothing but f of x that means here f of x equal to 1 by sigma root 2 pi e power minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma whole square so this is f of x equal to so suppose so suppose capital m is a median of the normal distribution is here I'm, i am assuming that m is the median of the normal distribution so according to the median formula so what is the formula for median here we have two formulas for median so first one is minus infinity to m f of x dx equal to 1 by 2 and m to infinity f of x dx equal to 1 by 2 so hi i am considering this one so that means so consider so take any formula so i am taking the first formula so that is integration over minus infinity to m f of x dx equal to 1 by 2 so here i am uh, in between i am taking the mu mu so that is integration over minus infinity to mu f of x dx equal to mu to m f of x dx equal to 1 by 2 so let us consider that is equation 1 so now consider integration over minus infinity to infinity only i am considering this part okay so only i am considering this part that means here i am considering integration over minus infinity to mu f of x dx that means that is equal to integration over minus infinity to mu 1 by sigma root 2 pi so we know that f of x value right so what is f of x f of x equal to 1 by sigma root 2 pi e power minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma whole square so now here you need to substitute the f of x value so that means here integration over minus infinity to mu f of 1 by sigma root 2 pi e power minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma sigma whole square dx so simplify this one so we know that how to simplify this one so for that we need to take z equal to x minus mu by sigma so we know that we have to take or let so x equal to x z equal to x minus mu by sigma so from this x minus mu equal to sigma z so x equal to mu plus sigma z so dx equal to this will be constant will be zero and this is sigma into dz so the from that dx equal to sigma dz if i substitute uh, x equal to so here we have limits right so if i substitute x equal to minus infinity so if i substitute x equal to minus in infinity then z will be minus infinity so if i substitute uh, uh, x equal to so this value is mu if x equal to mu then if i substitute here x equal to mu then z will be zero okay so here if uh, the limits are uh, minus infinity to mu then z limits are uh, minus infinity to zero so z limits are minus infinity to zero so that is equal to 1 by sigma root 2 pi integration over so here i am taking i am keeping the constant outside so that's why that will be 1 by sigma root 2 pi and here you need to substitute all these values so you have to substitute uh, these uh, values okay so in the above equation so that's why that will be 1 by sigma root 2 pi integration over here the limits are z limits are here here the limit z limits will be minus infinity to zero and e power so what is uh, uh, minus 1 by 2 and uh, here i will substitute here sigma root 2 pi and integration over minus infinity to zero and uh, e power Minus one by two x minus mu by sigma is nothing but z z whole square. So what about d d x sigma d z? Okay, so sigma sigma get cancelled. So sigma sigma get cancelled. So that will be one by root two pi integration over. So here we can write so minus infinity to to zero can be written as zero to infinity. So this is possible only in the normal distribution. Normal 
distribution. So, how can we say uh, integration over minus infinity to 0 uh, equal to 0 to infinity? Because in the normal distribution, the normal curve is symmetric about uh, z equal to 0. So, symmetric about z equal to 0. This total area is 100%. Uh, that means, this is 50%. Uh, this is 50%. If I take uh, the total area is 1%, this is 0 0.5. This is also 0 0.5. So, that means here, the normal curve is symmetric about uh, x equal to mu and z equal to 0. That means here we have in the right side we have only positive values. In the left side we have only negative values. That means here z equal to 0 to that means minus infinity to like that. So minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on minus infinity. So, these values are 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on infinity. So, that means here minus infinity to 0 is equal to 0 to infinity. So, that means minus infinity 0 equal to 0 to infinity. This is possible only in the normal curve. That means in the normal distribution. So, that is why I am writing here that is integration over minus infinity to 0 can be written as 0 to infinity. So, 1 by root 2 pi integration over 0 to infinity. So, this is from normal distribution. Normal distribution. So, we can write integration over 0 to infinity. So, minus infinity to 0 can be written as 0 to infinity. This is possible only in the normal distribution. Okay. So, next let us consider z square by 2 equal to t. So, z square by 2 equal to t. So, from this z square equal to 2t. Okay. So, 2z dz equal to 2 dt. So, 2 to get cancelled. Uh, z dz equal to dt and dz equal to dt by z. So, that means dt by what is z here z square equal to 2t and z equal to and a root of 2t. So, substitute the z value here that will be dz equal to dt by and a root of 2t. Okay. So, if I substitute z equal to 0 then t is also 0. If I substitute z is infinity then t is also infinity. Okay. So, here z limits are 0 to infinity then t limits are also 0 to infinity. So, substitute all these values, substitute all these values in the above equation, this equation. So, that will be, so that is equal to 1 by root 2 pi integration over 0 to infinity. So, here actually the equation is integration over, uh, so 1 by root 2 pi integration over uh, minus infinity to 0 now, sorry, 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity e power minus z square by 2 dz dz. Actual equation is this one. So, here we need to substitute all those values. That is why root 2 pi integration over 0 to infinity. So, e power minus z square by 2. So, that is t. So, z square by 2 is t and uh, dz is dz is dt by root t. So, dt by and a root of 2t and a root of okay so 1 by root 2 pi integration over 0 to infinity e power minus t so 1 by root t um, dt by and a root of 1 by root 2t is uh, 1 by and a root of t can be written as t power minus 1 by 2 so this will be t power minus 1 by 2 dt by root 2 so root 2 root 2 can be written as a 2 so 2 into root pi integration over 0 to infinity e power minus t so t power minus 1 by 2 is there right so here i am writing plus 1 minus 1 into dt okay so 1 by 2 root pi integration over 0 to infinity e power minus 1 e power minus t so t power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 so if you simplify this one we will get that is 1 by 2 so t power 1 by 2 minus 1 into dt. So, now which will be in the form of, we know that the gamma function formula. So, what is gamma function formula? We know that gamma n equal to integration over 0 to infinity. So, e power minus x, x power n minus 1 dx. So, we have integration over 0 to infinity e power minus uh, x, x power n minus 1 dx can be written as gamma n. So, this can be written as gamma 1 by 2. So, 2 root pi. So, this can be written as gamma 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 into root pi that will be written as gamma 1 by 2. This can be written as gamma 1 by 2. So, we know that gamma 1 by 2 is root pi. So, that's, that will be there in gamma function.
according to gamma function gamma n equal to integration over 0 to infinity e power minus x x power n minus 1 dx and also we have gamma 1 by 2 is root pi so substitute the values here and after substituting the value of uh, gamma 1 by 2 that will be root pi so 1 by 2 1 by 2 into root pi into uh, root pi root pi root pi get cancelled that will be 1 by 2 so that means this is nothing but so this is nothing but uh, integration over minus infinity to mu f of x dx so this can be written as integration over minus infinity to mu f of x dx that is equal to 1 by 2 so substitute uh, this value in equation 1 so substitute only this value in equation 1 we get so after substituting the value so in equation 1 that is 1 by 2 plus mu 2 m f of x dx equal to 1 by 2 so that means so 1 by 2 1 by 2 get cancelled that means integration over uh, mu 2 m f of x dx equal to 0 from that we can write uh, m to mu f of x dx m to mu f of x dx that means here we have a formula that is integration over a to b f of x dx implies and implied by a equal to b so according to this formula formula we can write uh, m equal to mu r mu equal to m so but we know that uh, mu a m is nothing but median so m is nothing but median so m equal to r median equal to mu therefore the median of the normal distribution is mu so in normal distribution so we have a note so observe carefully here we have uh, in the normal distribution uh, the mean equal to median equal to mode that means that is nothing but uh, mu so therefore mean equal to median equal to mode okay so in the normal distribution mean equal to median equal to mode thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates